Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing very well. So what we're going to do is continue with the harvest and we actually do have the Combine Harvester currently working in field number 25. Of course the first job of today is just to pass over here in preparation for moving the egg boxes. We're not going to pick them up today because it's not even necessary. We only have three and chances are only one of those uh, or two of those actually full. So yes, that can stay there until next time. Hopefully in the next video We'll have plenty to load up and take over to the best sell point. Uh, but yeah, the horses are doing pretty well as well. We have almost a full trough of hay. It was full, but they have eaten some. The price of each horse is looking absolutely incredible. £31,000 per horse, uh, except some of them will be 12 because they're newer. They're 25% trained, and these are 61%. Uh, not the chickens, though. We haven't been training the chickens there's not really much point. Uh, they're pretty good at making their eggs as it is. So um, yeah, we're just going to be uh, harvesting the oats, which are in field number 25. The combine, like I say, is currently um, working in the field. So we'll bring the oats over here, fill up the trough, and hopefully we'll have some to sell as well. Although it's going to take quite a bit, so we might be giving everything which we harvest today to the horses. But that is fine, because it turns out the horses are just really good things to do. When I first got a horse in the game I sort of understood that they were going to be worth quite a bit but not not as much as I was uh, <laughs> not as much as I've now discovered it's incredible I, I really can't believe the amount that you can actually make and you're probably thinking if you've never sold a horse at, at fully trained uh, value you're probably thinking this is just stupid you're not making any money at all but it is it's, ju it's just going to come in in one lump sum and we're all going to be so impressed especially me because I'm desperate to uh, buy some more fields and possibly some more machinery and stuff and just essentially expand the Let's Play even further. So we have the case tractor just here with the wrong trailer on. It's still a very good trailer though. I just No, no what am I doing here? I'm, I'm taking off the, uh, the pallet fork. Yes, what we need to do is take this trailer over to the field. Uh, there's not really much for us to do over there except for of course unload the combine and also pick up some straw. So we'll take the loading wagon over there as well and we'll, uh, we'll first of all pick up the grass which I've dumped. Turns out that was kind of pointless. Uh, we'll sell that and then we'll, uh, we'll go back over to film 25, pick up any straw we see, which should be quite a bit, oat straw. Uh, some of it has to go to the horses, the rest of it can just go to the sell points. So by the end of the episode I'm not really expecting to make a lot of money obviously a lot of potential money. Uh, the money we will have made will have come from straw, but as for the oats, chances are nothing, because <laughs> it's going to be converted into the money made from the horses. Uh, but this has been going for about five minutes, so it should be progressing quite nicely. Yep. Uh, in fact, we'll unload coming back down, so we can just leave it to crack on. Thing is, we really don't need to be looking after the combine too much at all. It's going to be looking after itself most of the time. It's not filling up very quickly. And whilst we wait for it to turn around, I'll just go over here. Uh, looks like we do have some hay in here actually, so I will top up the, uh, the trough. Actually, somebody said if you have a certain crop type in here already, it doesn't matter what you pick up, it will convert it over. So if it does, that would be really handy. Oh, wow. Well, thank you to the person who said that. I, I can't remember who it was now, but obviously you'll know who it was, <laughs> if it was you. Um, that's genius. Unless it's converted the entire load to grass, which you might have done, which would be just stupid. That would be really stupid of me. So let's go and see if I've been a fool. Chances are I have. Uh, I, I do tend to be a fool most of the time. Um, which can be entertaining. It can also be very frustrating. Here, have some hay. Oh, really good, that. So, yeah, thank you to the person who said that, uh, that you can convert grass to hay just by having some hay already in the loading wagon. Um, that might be patched in the future. I'm not too sure. But that is totally filled up. So, although we do need some more in the future, we can certainly get away with selling this 32,000 litres in, in the trough. We have 4,207 here, uh, which isn't going to bring in much money, but it just gets rid of it and frees this up for the straw. Hello, dog. Mr. Sniff. Just very quickly, make sure I unload this, otherwise it's going to stop. It 
did get stuck before on a tree. But we'll pretend that didn't happen. Or I could have just not told you, I suppose. <laughs> then you wouldn't have known. It really does have quite a slow unload rate, but I suppose that is expected with it being an old machine. Still, I've got quite a bit out of it. Uh, I need to move somewhere where we're not going to be in the way, because otherwise we're going to be blocking the loading wagon. Uh, and I can't go over there because it will block the combine. So yeah, there isn't really much space for me to go anywhere. Now I'm destroying the crop. Hmm, I'll go over here. Yes, that will do. Good. Uh, so yes, over to the new Holland which I have left here. Nobody queuing up behind it, which is surprising. Uh, so we might do some more contracts today, I'm not too sure. As I have said several times in the previous videos, uh, I'm hoping to do a live stream between some of these episodes. And just because of my my illness last week, I just didn't have the uh, energy to do it, which was a real shame because I did want to do it. Um, but yeah, obviously, you can't really push yourself too far when you're not feeling that well. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully a live stream will be coming up fairly soon feeling much better which is good and I'm hoping to do some longer videos because I, I'm fully aware that the previous videos were super short but yeah that can now change I'm just assuming this is the best place to take this to I think it might be the only place but it's local and we don't have too much so there we go is it about a thousand pounds no it's about 523 Good. Well, it's something at least. Let's go and start loading up the straw. As usual, this is always a very good thing to do as a time lapse. Uh, I might do some of it in real time just to have a bit of a chit chat, but uh, otherwise, yeah, I think it would just be best to uh, get it done. And then we'll move on to giving the horses their oats and, of course, their straw. In fact, the first though, we can go to the horses and then we can uh, not forget about them, but just, you know, not have to think about them quite as much. I don't even know how much they're going to take. I should probably check. Oh, quite a bit. Yes, yeah, so I'll fill it up, then we'll head over there and uh, just sort out the horses first of all. The combine seems fine. When we get the message saying 80% full, I'll obviously go over to it and unload it, but for the time being, we can just leave it to continue. And I think this is going to be enough for the horses. It's over 10,000 litres, so if they do take more than that, I'll be surprised. I would imagine they would usually take about 4,000 litres. Because even that is quite a bit. It's the equivalent of a bale. Uh, good, right. Off we go. Oh, precious neighbour's straw. Oh, no. Here you go, horses. Nothing's stolen in here, I assure you. Yeah, taking quite a bit. Uh, there we go. So, it does save every time. And it's a good thing. You can change it, I think. Uh, I do have it set to about five minutes. We don't really need to look at the technicalities here. But anyway, um, yes, five. Let's just check on those horses. Yep, 6,400 is a full pen. Uh, water is good. So, yeah, by the end of the episode, the oats will be fulfilled. And everything here is going to be looking very positive. Just wondering if we can fit another paddock in here, another chicken coop. We might be able to. I'd cut the grass first though, because it's just a waste otherwise. I did actually pay for the seed.
almost finished. We just have to do that piece up there because it's going to get confused, and this large chunk down here. Um, the price of straw seems to have gone up rapidly. I was very impressed with the £5,000 we got. Uh, it used to be about £1,000, I think, for each load. I'll sell this one too and see what we get. But whilst it's doing it, I'll go on to the commodity page and just take a quick look. Take a look at the straw. Uh, yeah, 249. With it being a great demand as well. I think before, we were getting about £89. So, I don't know if they've adjusted the economy, but that is amazing. <laughs> 5727, which means we now have 38,000. So, forget what I said at the beginning about not really making much money in this episode, because we have just made an unexpected, is it about £12,000? And it's going to be more. I have more to do, but I might keep the rest of it for the horses in here. So, uh, yeah, let me just finish off the harvest and then we'll uh, just complete things generally. We have 8,000 litres of oats so far, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if it's going to fill the trough, but it's still a massive improvement over the 1,000 they currently have, which we had to buy anyway. Uh, that was very expensive. Yep, so I head down the bottom and just uh, very quickly harvest that piece over there. The worker always gets confused here, but it's alright. I don't mind doing it myself because it's just so much extra money harvesting or planting this area in the first place. It didn't used to be even planted. It was just a grass headland. Yes, it doesn't deposit the straw when you're too close to the road, so I wonder what's going to happen when I go more into the field. Ooh, that's quite a pile. And it's steaming. Oh no, wait, it was just dust. I've been trying to figure out the best field to buy next, and I really can't decide. I think I will go for a smaller field again, because then we have some more money left over for machinery. Uh, it would be nice to be able to upgrade some machines, for example, this combine. I do like this combine, but it is a bit on the small side, uh, plus there's no cab, so that makes it a little bit unhealthy, breathing all this dust. It's also not very big, uh, but for the size of farm which we have currently, which is actually one arable field, it's perfectly big enough. And there we go, so we're finished, all we need to do now is unload and pick up the straw. Should be quite a bit of straw, I might sell a bit more. It's very tempting with the price being so good. Uh, so in the combine we have 2,139 litres, which means I would predict we're going to finish off with roughly 9,500 litres of oats. We will see. Currently 7.5. Might be closer to nine. It's pretty good though. Eight, seven hundred. Come on, nine. Yes! Nine, one, five, eight. Sounds good to me. Look at this deposit. Incredible. So much straw. And it's worth a lot of money for what it is, I think. It's going to be worth doing straw again. I can only assume they have edited the prices uh, in the latest in one of the latest patches. I'm assuming um, because I was never getting anything like 250 pounds per 1,000 liters before. It was. I think that I did get a great demand at 89 pounds, um, so that has been improved dramatically. And there's the second one, just going in there. So we really do have more than what we actually need. Um, I think we could definitely get away with selling half of what we finish off with. No, I've missed a bit. Still missed a bit. There we go. And we'll finish off over here. I feel like I have spent quite a bit of time picking up straw today. Uh, so, yes, we'll go over to the sell point and sell approximately half. It doesn't need to be exactly half. Not too worried about it. Especially as the horses do have a full trough anyway. And I don't think they get through it very quickly. It's roughly 4,300 that we need to sell. Uh, yes, that would do. So that's still an extra £1,000. I would like to turn the entire farm over here, the entire field, into livestock. Um, well, have livestock enclosed on there. So we have cows, pigs, sheep and everything. Horses, chickens. But it's going to take time because they are very expensive, the enclosures. Uh, so, yeah, eventually 
That is the plan. But th that's the thing. The, the more you progress, the more money you're going to make. So if we have chickens, horses, cows and sheep, there's going to be money coming in from all angles. Whereas at the moment, we just have the uh, the chickens, which are giving us daily income. And, well, the horses are actually doing a very good job. But it is only a lump sum at the end of it all. Anyway, we have lots of tasty things for the horses. I wouldn't be surprised if they took it all. I wouldn't blame them. It does look very tasty. Mmm, fresh oats. I wish I could pick that piece of straw up. That would have been good. We could have made about 200 pounds off it. Right then, horses, here we are. We are delivering your delicious food. You already have a full trough of hay. We're spoiling them. Uh, plus, they get uh, trained every day and cleaned, and they are just generally very well looked after by our horse helper. Yep, they took it all. Not surprising at all. <laughs> 10,500 litres. It looks like they could take 30,000 quite easily. Uh, probably the same capacity as the hay, actually, 32 of each. Still, it's a good step in the right direction. It's uh, not looking bad at all. And it did take a long time to get through the first bit of oat, or oats. So, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any pressure. So what I'll do now is clean the tractor. It's looking a bit of a disgrace. Ugh. Uh, then we can park the trailer up, look into getting another job. At some point we're going to have to drill the field, but I'll probably do that in a stream, uh, since it is a fairly repetitive job. If we could actually use one of our own tractors to do a fairly high pay job, that would be handy, but it's usually not that possible because it does take a very long time with this size of machinery. Well, that's looking very clean. I think anybody would be proud of that. Shiny windows. Right, uh, yeah, so into the contract page, let's go and try and find something good. Uh, we could do something like that, potentially, although our machine isn't very big. You see, it would still take a long time. Maybe I'll just do a really quick job. Like this one, or... Uh, there's quite a few bailing jobs. Transport. I do like the, the uh, transporting. It does seem to be quite a fun thing to do. In fact, I might do that. And then we'll leave it for... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, this is good. Whoa, what's this? £10,000. We have that machine. We have a tractor. Field 6. Ah, oh, wow, this is looking very promising. Okay. Let's grab our lovely clean tractor. Put this around the corner. This could be good. There's a few jobs in there which are just so worth doing. There's others which you kind of wonder why you would even do them because the price is so poor. Uh, we don't have any fertiliser here, we'll have to buy it, but that is fine. Um, I need to be careful about how much I buy though. I would say it would be two two pallets. Uh, I did, I think it was a nine acre field before, uh, with one pallet, so yeah, one wouldn't be enough. Sorry sign, I hit the signs every day. Unbelievable. Yeah, two pallets, two crates of uh, fertiliser. And, well, we'll take the £10,000 after that. Oh, interestingly, we do have 1,300 litres already in here, so, uh, it, yeah, it doesn't matter. I keep forgetting it doesn't matter if it's our own machine, because uh, it's not going to take it away from you. It doesn't reimburse you, because it's not deleting our fertiliser in the first place. So, we'll just top it up. Just make sure we have enough to keep going with. Uh, so, if we don't use it all, it doesn't matter. It's not wasted. We'll use it on our own farm. Which I didn't do, actually. I don't think I did fertilise the oat field. And it still turned out to be really good. So I could have made even more money. I almost turned up at the wrong field, then. I thought it was field number 10. Uh, so, yeah, we have field number 6 just here, which needs to be fertilised. And we do have the extra working width, which is going to be very handy. Although it does take me a while just to familiarise myself with the working width. Is that about right? Oh, no. I'm wasting, wasting loads there. Yep, so I think this is going to be an incredibly easy £10,000. Probably the easiest we've ever made. Minus the price of the fertiliser.
Well, this has turned out to be so easy. Just a few minutes work. And it hasn't really used much fertiliser either. I think it's taken about... Uh, I'm not too sure how much we had originally, but possibly one pallet. That's actually classed as finished, which is surprising. £10,318 collect. Whoa! Wow! That was so easy! That was, that was brilliant! We're definitely heading in the right direction. It's good to see. A few more of them in a live stream, and we'll be we'll be expanding uh, in just a few episodes' time. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.